going to um, analyze Russell Henley's swing compared to Tiger. Uh, the video I have uh, is not uh, in uh, slow motion, so there's going to be some blurry pictures here. I've stopped the swing uh, just past impact. Uh, Henley has his shaft somewhere right in there. So there's Tiger's shaft. So I've kind of stopped the swing at the same point. Um, first, let's look at the weight shift. Uh, the uh, looks like they are similar. Uh, Tiger has his left hip past his left foot. I've got the yellow box from the center of the ankles up to the top of the head. They both have a spine angle that is uh, tilting back here. The hands are on the left line, so right in front of the left pocket. The legs are driving. You can see the angle in the knee here. So a lot of similarities in that position. Um, one other similarity is I can... Uh, if we look at the from the elbows down so we're looking at the forearms here not the upper arms but just the forearms that part of the shape is pretty similar now where you do see differences is between these two swings is in the full extension of that left arm. Tiger's elbow is fully extended. He, he doesn't have a bent left elbow. Uh, Russell Henley does. He has a break there. He has the beginnings of what we call a chicken wing, which is kind of what we see in a lot of amateurs. So that is one of the things that is um, unique about Russell Henley swing. It's certainly it's unique um, on the the professional tours. The only other player that comes to mind that uh, has a chicken wing is Lee Westwood. And in fact, uh, I think Lee Westwood, I would say, is even uh, has more angle in his left elbow than uh, Russell does. So that is an idios. Uh, that is a difference between Russell's swing and. Uh, what we would expect to see. So in golf you have rules and you have exceptions to rules. The rule is you want to hit through the ball with an extended left arm. The exception is uh, if you can play professional golf with a bent left arm then you are the exception. So as a, as a teacher we tend to it makes more logical sense for us to teach the rule and not the exception. Now the bottom line is you don't fix the exception if you uh, have quality shots. The goal is to uh, hit consistent solid shots that create a predictable ball flight that you can aim and hit targets with with adequate distance. So we're not changing swings just for the sake of changing swings. We're not trying to create some sort of a perfect swing model. We want perfect ball flight. And once you achieve that, a pro-level ball flight, you don't really care about the different positional forms. The number one fundamental in golf is repeatability. If there's two ways to accomplish something, the one that is the most repeatable is the most fundamentally sound. And for Russell Henley, his most repeatable form has a little bit of a break in his left elbow. And therefore, that is his solid fundamental golf swing. Now, as both of these players swing up to the ninth position when the right arm is parallel to the ground, they still have pretty much the same similarities in the, in the single one difference that I see. They both have a nice extended right arm. They're solidly on their left side, coming off the back foot. 
They still have a, they're driving the center of their body, their belt buckle towards the target and have a little spine angle. The, the difference is still uh, that Tiger has a very extended left arm. It's harder to see here, but it's evident to me that Henley does have still a little bit of a chicken wing. Now, where Henley is different than amateurs with a chicken wing is what he's doing with his wrist. He has his wrist crossed just like Tiger does. His left hand is underneath the right hand just like Tiger has. So he has released his club and he's put his uh, hands in a rehinging position. The rehinge where the club would, would be going up and creating a 90 degree angle at the top. So uh, Henley is in a position to create that. And uh, most amateurs have their left hand still very visible above the right hand in this position. So the amateur that chicken wings is not doing that partial forearm rotation to position the wrist in a rehinging position. They uh, chicken wing and do not have any kind of moderate release or moderate repositioning of the hands. In the downswing you you need to go from the unhinging position in the backswing and the downswing. In the backswing you hinge up, downswing you hinge down, and through impact and, and to the target side of the body you you have to quickly reposition those hands so that they are in a to, in a uh, rehinging position on the other side and you're hinging upward you're not cupping left and what uh, so Henley is is rehinging correctly with a chicken wing amateurs chicken wing and cup their wrist and don't rehinge their wrist and so that's the real difference in what allows Henley to play uh, cons more consistent golf